by inserting the diffuser strips into the T-Track at the top of the front and rear profiles. Loosely attach four M8 screws and square nuts to the wind diffuser. Slide the wind diffuser into the rear T-Track on the front profile Center the wind diffuser. Then tighten the screws two to three turns with your fingers to secure it in place. Loosely attach two M8 screws and square nuts to each corner bracket. Attach the front left and front right corner assemblies to the front profile. Tighten the screws with the 6mm hex key. We recommend that you use a torque wrench to torque the screws to 15 newton meters. Install an M8 screw and square nut into the back logo plate. Slide the logo plate into the lower T-track on the rear profile and center it. Tighten the screw to 4 newton meters with the 6mm hex key or a torque wrench. With the back logo plate installed, attach the rear left and rear right corner assemblies to the rear profile. Tighten the screws with the 6mm hex key. We recommend that you use a torque wrench to torque the screws to 15 newton meters. Side profiles also feature logo plates that must be installed before attaching the corner brackets. Install two M8 screws and square nuts into each logo plate. Insert the logo plates into the lower T-track and position them in the center of the side profiles. Tighten the screws to four newton meters with a six millimeter hex key or a torque wrench. Tuli Caprock features five or six crossbars depending on the model. Insert five or six square nuts into the inner T-track on each side of the profiles. The square nuts will be used to attach the crossbars to the outer platform. Connect the front and rear sections to the side profiles. Insert four of the T20 Torx screws into the upper T-Track on the side profiles. Use the provided T20 Torx key or a torque wrench to tighten the torque screws to four newton meters.
Then tighten the adjacent M8 screws to 15 newton meters with a six millimeter hex key or a torque wrench. To attach feet to Thule Caprox crossbars, remove the pre-installed end cap with the T25 Torx key. Slide two Thule Evo feet into the lower channel of the crossbar. Reinstall the end caps and tighten the Torx bolts to 10 newton meters using the T25 Torx key or a torque wrench. The position of the feet on the crossbars will depend on a vehicle's specific roof rack fit. Using the installation instruction from the foot pack, make sure the bars have adequate spread and are evenly spaced. Loosely attach the crossbars with the feet to the outer profiles using the M8 screws and 6mm hex key. With the assistance of another person, lift the Thule cap rock onto the vehicle. Depending on the vehicle's height, the use of two ladders or benches is recommended. Position the Thule cap rock so that it's centered laterally on the feet and the vehicle. Adjust the fairing to leave a small gap between it and the vehicle's roof. Tighten the M8 screws to 15 newton meters with the six millimeter hex key or a torque wrench once the fairing is at the desired height. If the vehicle is equipped with a tailgate or hatch, ensure that there is adequate clearance between it and the rear of the roof platform. Loosely attach the remaining crossbars and position the bars so that they're evenly spaced. Then tighten all the M8 screws to 15 newton meters with a six millimeter hex key or a torque wrench. Check to make sure that all hardware is properly torqued and that Thule Caprock is secured to the vehicle.